why am I so insistent upon giving out to them that blackness, that black power, that black pushing them to identify with black culture? I have no choice over it. In the first place, to me, we are the most beautiful creatures in the whole world. Out of the huts of history's shame, I rise. Up from a past rooted in pain, I rise. Bringing the gifts that my ancestors gave. I am the hope and the dream of the slave. And so, naturally, there I go rising. Black women's achievements are often overlooked, ignored, or silenced. So here's a rundown of some of the most important black female inventors who you may not have heard of, but who have definitely improved the lives of millions. Bessie Blount Griffin, born 1914. She was a physical therapist who worked with veterans coming back from World War II. The majority of the soldiers at the Veterans Hospital in Chicago where she worked were amputees or had lost the use of their limbs. Bessie's first invention was called the portable receptacle support. This device consisted of a tube attached to a bowl which was connected to a brace attached to the patient's neck. It allowed the patient to eat an entire meal without assistance. Bessie gave back the patient some of their freedom and independence. Dr. Shirley Jackson is an American physicist. She was the first black woman to receive her PhD from MIT in nuclear physics and the first black woman to be president of the Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. Dr. Jackson is responsible for a vast number of improvements that have integrated seamlessly into our daily lives. These include the portable fax machine, solar cells, touch tone telephones, call waiting, caller ID, and the fiber optic cables used to connect overseas calls. Mary Van Breden Brown received a patent in 1969, making her the first person to develop a patent for closed circuit television security. Her invention became the framework for the modern closed circuit television system that is widely used for surveillance, crime prevention, and traffic monitoring. Dr. Patricia Bath is an American ophthalmologist, inventor, and academic. She received a doctorate from Howard University College of Medicine and was also the first black woman doctor to receive a patent for a medical purpose. In 1981, she received a patent for the laser faco probe, which is used to treat cataracts. Dr. Bath's laser probe made cataract surgery faster and more accurate, and she has been credited with saving thousands of people from losing their sight. Betty Harris received a bachelor's degree in chemistry from Southern University and a master's degree in chemistry from Atlanta University and earned a PhD from the University of New Mexico. She worked extensively in the area of explosives, and her research in this area led her to obtain a patent for her invention of a spot test for identifying explosives in a field environment. In 1999, she received the New Mexico Governor's Trailblazer Award for her achievement. Mildred Kenner joined her sister Mary Davidson Kenner in patenting many practical inventions. Neither of the sisters had any technical education, but that didn't stop them from inventing the sanitary belt in 1956. Three years later, Kenner invented a moisture-resistant pocket for the belt. While disabled from multiple sclerosis, Mildred went on to invent the walker and the toilet tissue holder. Sarah Breedlove, or more commonly known as Madam C.J. Walker, was an entrepreneur, philanthropist, and the first self-made millionaire woman of any race in the United States. Madam C.J. Walker made her fortune by developing and marketing a hugely successful line of beauty and hair products for black women under the company she founded, Madam C.J. Walker Manufacturing Co. Marjorie Stewart Joyner, born 1896, inventor of a permanent hair wave machine. She invented a permanent wave machine that added curls to straight hair and could also be used to straighten curly hair. She became national supervisor for more than 200 beauty colleges owned by Madam C.J. Walker and she eventually joined their board of directors. African American women played an integral part in the development of hair care products in the late 19th and early 20th century. While Madam C.J. Walker and Marjorie Joyner are two of the most famous women inventors in this respect, another inventor. Lida Newman also played an important role. While she was not the original inventor of the hairbrush, Lida Newman's improvements to that brush made her a significant contributor to its evolution. She was granted a patent for her invention in 1898. Lida's brush was the first hairbrush with synthetic bristles. Prior to that, the brushes were made from animal hair, such as boar's hair. But Lida Newman's brush also had several other unique innovations. Most notably, Lida Newman's hairbrush invention was designed to promote ventilation and provide storage for excess hair or impurities. 
with Lida's innovative brush, impurities pulled from the scalp or hair would pass through the openings or slots in the brush to a recess in the bag. The impurities could then be emptied from the brush by disconnecting the holder and dumping or blowing them out. Easy access to the bristles also permitted the user to clean them out whenever necessary. Theora Stevens was the first person to patent the curling iron in October of 1980. Theora was also the patenter for the flat iron. Sadly, many people failed to give credit to Theora for the things that she did. Sarah Good was an entrepreneur and inventor who was the first black woman to receive a U.S. patent. Good invented a folding cabinet bed which provided people who lived in small spaces to utilize their space efficiently. When the bed was folded up, it looked like a desk. The desk was fully functional with spaces for storage. She received a patent for it in July 14, 1885. Sarah Boone was an inventor who on April 26, 1892, secured U.S. patent rights for her improvements to the ironing board. Sarah's upgrades to the ironing board helped to improve the quality of ironing sleeves and the bodies of women's garments. The board was narrow, curved, and made of wood. The shape, design, and structure made it easy to fit a sleeve and it was reversible to allow for ironing both sides of the sleeve. Alice Ball was a chemist who developed an injectable oil extract that was the most effective treatment for leprosy until the 1940s. On December 23, 1919, Alice H. Parker, an inventor from Morristown, New Jersey, received a patent for her design of a gas heating furnace. It was not the first furnace of its kind, but it was a substantial improvement of the original design. Her inventions conserved more energy than previous models and made central heating possible. The model regulated heat in multiple rooms for the first time by controlling a series of burners using a single control panel. Alice Parker's design would play an important role in providing centralized heating to millions of homes and buildings worldwide. Her gas heating furnace would totally transform how homes and buildings would now be heated. Do you like toast? Who doesn't? The kitchen, the classroom, and the office just wouldn't be the same without Ruan and Sheila Jetter, who between them hold the patents for the toaster, sheath scissors, the stapler, the staple remover, the tape rule calculator, multi-purpose stationary tool, the simulative toy pencil sharpener, and hole punch. The multi-purpose office use article, the combination of tape measure and pencil sharpener, the carpenter's rule with pencil sharpener, and the medical waste disposal container. Damn. Janet Bashan is cited across the internet as the first black woman to hold a software patent. Her invention is Link Line. It is a software that assists with web-based EEO, Equal Employment Opportunity, investigations. Employees file EEO complaints when there may be discrimination against them because of race, national origin, sex, or religion, or protected classes under the Title VII of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. She is the CEO of Bashing Corp, a national labor and employment consulting firm that investigates EEO complaints and also sells the linked line software to streamline the EEO filing process. Janet said her parents used to say to her, every day you have to set an example. Miriam E. Benjamin was granted her patent by the District of Columbia in 1888 for the gong and signal chair. Miriam's chair allowed the user to signal when service was needed through a crank that would simultaneously sound a gong and display a red signal, kind of like the call button on an airplane seat, with signals for a flight attendant to assist you. In 1992, Natalie R. Love created a removable cover for T-top convertible cars. This invention replaced the glass roof panels that were heavy and inconvenient to maneuver, allowing owners of convertible T-top automobiles to quickly attach or remove and store their covers. Maxine Snowden invented the rain hat in 1983. Thanks to her, ladies, you don't have to worry about your hair getting wet in the rain. So how about now? Well, 20-year-old Maddie Maxi works at the intersection of fashion and technology, and she's creating responsive clothing that will help keep you warm. Or 7-year-old Zora Ball. She's the youngest person to ever create a mobile game app, which was unveiled at the University of Pennsylvania's Bootstrap Expo. Creative young women like Zora and Maddie are preceded by an older group of inventive women. So ladies, don't stop. I want to do a follow-up to this video in a few years from now on and add your names to the list. They say necessity is the mother of all inventions. Well, necessity must be a black woman. Simply put, black women are amazing. Peace, love, and coconut oil. Hey man, that's racist. Please remember that from now on, brand new never before seen videos, as well as live streams, will only be available on my website, ikyg.com, via a Patreon subscription. ikyg.com is a black owned, black ran platform, 100% free from censorship. It's the only place where we don't have to worry about what we say and expressing ourselves.
Make sure you check out the description and the comment section for important links, as well as information in video form that shows you what benefits you get when you support the site and join my Patreon. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, then don't forget to subscribe and be notified every time I upload a video. For exclusive content and perks, check out my Patreon. This is where we have private live streams, group chats, live Q&As, live phone calls, and open topics. This is a safe space where you can interact with other like-minded people, make friends, send each other direct private messages, and so much more without any trolls. And yes, you get to use GIFs and images in the live chats. So what are you waiting for? This is a completely independent website, free from censorship. If you'd like to make a donation towards the site so we can continue to put out the truth without fear of being silenced, then please hit that donation button. It's greatly appreciated. Check out the rest of the site for videos, private and public live streams, find out all the tea, and make sure to utilize the black money section of the website. Advertise your business absolutely free to people that look like you, free forever. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at angel underscore IKYG.